Hello and welcome back to our next video. We YSH you all a good and blessed day. May God bestow blessings upon all of you who are watching this video. Today, I am compelled to share with you two profound messages from the Virgin Mary and Jesus Christ sent to Colombia. These messages resonate urgently, emphasizing the great purification that humanity must undergo due to the increasing sins. We hope you will enjoy this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest information. Join us on this journey and listen to this video until the very end. Say, Amen, if you believe, as God always blesses you. Before we delve into today's messages, let's pray, offering our petitions to Almighty God. O Most High God, in the name of Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, who sacrificed himself to save us, your wretched children, from the fires of hell, please hear our prayers. We offer you our humble sacrifices. We embrace the trials and suffering as a means of redemption for souls in the warning. We implore your forgiveness for sinners who may find it difficult to return and accept your mercy, that they may offer the necessary sacrifices and repent before you. Amen. Now, let's share these sacred messages. O oh, beloved ones of mine, may peace envelop you, especially the little ones. Dark days have come upon you, and the journey through the purifying desert is filled with sorrowful news. I, Jesus, the merciful, open my arms, awaiting the return of my lost sheep and wandering little ones. Do not delay your conversion until the last moment, for the ark of my mercy may slip from your grasp. Earth has never witnessed such widespread evil and sin as in this generation. The abyss of hell shudders at the wickedness and malice. Modern ideologies, apostasy, and the deep pit of godlessness condemn the majority of souls in this generation. With time, evil and sin increase, becoming habits for a thankless humanity. My mercy overflows, waiting for the awakening of the majority to return to the arms of God's love and mercy. The sight of generations marked by the stain of evil and sin saddens me deeply. The lack of love and charity among humanity offends my love and mercy. The decline of moral and spiritual values is the consequence of the absence of love, dialogue, understanding, and, above all, the absence of God in families. This reality is evident in many households where those entrusted with the sacred duty of love, guidance, and education neglect their responsibilities to love and raise their children in my holy commandments. The Ten Commandments of Love are broken daily, causing homes, families, and society to drift away. The moral and spiritual decline is the result of the absence of love and God in the hearts of people. O oh, ungrateful and sinful humanity, return to my teachings and live by my laws. Only then will sin and evil cease to reign. I am Jesus of divine mercy, patiently awaiting you until the last moment. My hands are open, reluctantly witnessing your eternal damnation. Hasten, for the moments of my divine mercy are diminishing. Besides my warnings and my miracles are my justice, firm and without mercy. The prodigal sons and daughters, do not be afraid. Repent of your sins, and I will erase them from your memory, for I am a father more than a judge. Hurry! So you may reach the ark of my mercy. Your father is Jesus, the boundless mercy. O oh, beloved children, spread my message of salvation to all corners of the earth. This concludes the first message. Let us continue with the second message given by the Virgin Mary. Mother Mary begins, O oh, beloved ones, pray for the peace of the Lord to always protect you. Pray for the love and protection of my maternal presence to accompany you, beloved children. The beginning of the new world order is evident, with most world leaders serving their own interests. Hunger, oppression, captivity, persecution, disappearance, and death await the people of God. 
These ruling powers seek to establish a regime of slavery and obedience in the poorest nations. They intend to eradicate the Catholic faith from the earth. However, the name of my son Jesus has set a barrier to their wicked plans. During the reign of the Antichrist, the New World Order will extend its dominion over all nations. The enemies of my son will lead it, and the hammer will become a calamity for nations and the people of God. O oh, faithful children of mine, millions will be imprisoned in concentration camps. The Holocaust and martyrdom are imminent. Those who profess their faith in my son will face arrest, imprisonment, torture, or disappearance. The people of God, the first Christians, will seek refuge far from urban centers, dwelling in mountains, caves, or my hiding places. Once again, the fish will be the symbol of the faithful, forming communities, preserving the faith and the teachings of my son. They will be the remnant church, the people chosen by God to dwell in the new creation, the new church after the purification. Simple, humble, yet rich in grace and charm, they will serve the people of God. O oh children, do not be afraid, for heaven will not abandon you. As you pass through eternity, the Holy Spirit will grant you the necessary graces and blessings to endure the journey through the desert. In those days, offering your life for my son will be the greatest joy, without fear or anxiety. Some may face death, but the power of the Holy Spirit will accompany you. Before the sword strikes, you will be taken to heaven. Beloved children, prepare for the impending purifying desert journey. Do not fear, stand firm in faith, with the light illuminated by prayer, vigilance, and caution, like brave soldiers clad in sacred armor. Day and night, prepare for the final battle for freedom. Do not allow anything or anyone to steal the peace of my son within you. I bless you. Thank you for watching until the end of this video. What are your thoughts on today's topic? Please leave your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to receive updates on our latest videos. In closing, I wish you all a day filled with positive energy and God's protection. Amen.